LearnDash offers several AI features that allow you to create courses faster. LearnDash AI can also assist in ensuring a more engaging learning experience. In this video, we'll show you how to use LearnDash AI functionalities. You can download LearnDash from the link in this video's description. Currently, LearnDash has four major AI-based features. We'll explore them all. Without further ado, let's start. As you can see, we have logged into our LearnDash powered WordPress website. And you can see we have LearnDash already installed. If we click on courses, you can see we also have a course over here. So the first AI that we are going to see is the course creation wizard. The course creation wizard allows you to create a course from a video playlist. So to access it, we're going to click on this create from video playlist button from here. And here it's asking me to enter the playlist URL. So if you have a course in YouTube playlist, a Vimeo showcase or a Wistia project URL, you can paste in the URL and click on this load button to load up the course. So we already have a video tutorial on this where we created a course from a YouTube playlist. For a detailed tutorial on this, you can watch the tutorial, but I'm going to just briefly show you how this is done. We have copied our YouTube playlist URL. We're going to paste it over here and you can see that it automatically detected that the URL is from YouTube. We're going to click on this button. As you can see, it says the course WordPress basic tutorials will be created with 31 lessons. Here you can see the course access settings. If you want to keep the course free open or you want to make it a paid course, a recurring paid course or a closed course. And you can also select the linear or free form. So you get all these options. So that is how you can use the course creation wizard to create a course from a playlist. Okay, so I'm going to click on back to course list. And the second AI that we're going to talk about is the AI which helps you create a course outline. So here is the create course outline. So I'm going to click over here. Here you can add in the course title, number of lessons and describe your course. So if you don't see this page, that means that your OpenAI account is not connected properly. To connect your LearnDash site with OpenAI, what you can do is go to settings. And from here, we're going to click on advanced. And over here, there's the AI integrations. And here you can see we already have our OpenAI API key. To get your OpenAI API key, you can click over here and here you can see there's written click here to get your API key. So if you click over here, it's going to take you to the OpenAI login or registration page. So if you already have an account, just simply log in or you can simply sign up. Okay, so we already have an account. We're going to log in. And here you can see we already have two API keys over here. What you can simply do is when you open your account or when you log in, click the API keys tab over here and then click on this create new secret key button. Over here from the permissions, select all permission and here in the owned by select you and give this a name and the project will be default and click on this create a secret key button. So when you do that, you will be given a secret key and this secret key will be visible only once. So make sure you copy it in a safe place. So after you copy the secret key, go back to your LearnDash site and then paste in your API key and then click on this save button. Okay, so that will connect your OpenAI account with your LearnDash site. Then let's go back to courses and click on create course outline from AI. And here you can type in some characters. So I'm going to type in some characters. So you can see that we have a course over here. We can select it if we want, or we can create a new course. And we can also select the number of lessons we want. And then we have to describe our course over here. Okay. So after you describe your course, simply click on this create lessons button and AI will create a course outline for you. So it's just that simple. Now, these are the two types of AI feature that we can use on LearnDash. Let's talk about the third type, which is the quiz builder. So using this AI feature, you can also create questions to access that. We're going to click over here in quizzes. And from here, you can see there's an option that says create quiz from AI. So we're going to click on here. And you can see this form over here. You can first pick your course, which is the associated course. And then you can also pick the lesson. Okay. You can pick any lessons you want. And then you can also pick a topic. So I don't have any topic within this lesson. So I'm not seeing any result. Then you can add in your quiz title. So what will be the title of the quiz? 
Then you can choose what type of questions you want. You can choose single choice, multiple choice, free choice, sorting, matrix sorting, fill in the blanks, and so many more options. If you guys want to learn how you can use the quiz builder in Learn Dash to create quizzes, we have a video tutorial on that topic. We will link that video in this video's description. So I want single choice questions, so I'm going to select it and number of questions, how many questions we want, and then we can describe our quiz. So the quiz idea is clear and brief description. So you have to describe your quiz here and then click over here, create questions to create your questions. So that is how you can use AI to create quizzes for you. The other AI feature that you can use in LearnDash is the virtual assistant. So to use this, we are first going to enable it from settings. And we're going to click on this experiments tab. So currently the virtual assistant is experimental. Here we can read that experiments are features that are in beta that we encourage you to try on your course. You can provide your team feedback by clicking on the give feedback button. Learn more about experiments from this link. Okay, so you can read more about the experiments from this documentation. But what we are going to be talking about is the virtual instructor. This is basically an AI chatbot which your students can communicate with and the chatbot will provide assistance according to the instructions that you have given it. So first we're going to enable it by clicking on this button and then let's click on save button. And virtual instructor should appear over here. If it doesn't, just simply refresh your page and it will appear over here. Now let's click on virtual instructor. And here you can see there are two tabs, virtual instructors and settings. Here is an add new button. That means you can add multiple virtual instructors. So here you can see that set up virtual instructors. Let's configure virtual instructors in no time at all. Your virtual instructors will be helping your students with their coursework and understanding complex subjects. So we're going to click on this next button. And if you're not connected with OpenAI, you will be prompted to connect with OpenAI. Since we have connected our site with OpenAI, we are not seeing that message. The first settings is the global configuration. Here you can configure how virtual instructors works globally. You can override these settings on a per virtual instructor level later on. So here you can include banned words. So if you want some words to be banned, you can select those words here. Let's say this is the word that I want to ban. And if this word is entered, this will be the error message that will be displayed. Oops, we can't help you with that question. Please ask your instructor. Okay, so you can actually separate the words by giving comma. Okay, so you can add multiple words that you can ban. Then we are going to click on the next button and here you can name your instructor. So we're going to give a name to our instructor. Then we can also upload an avatar. We can have an image of our instructor. If you have an avatar image for your virtual instructor, you can upload it by clicking over here. Then you can provide a custom instruction over here. So we can see it says enter in your custom instructors of how your virtual instructors should interact with students. For example, you can provide instructions like don't tell the students uh, the specific answer. Instead, just help them understand the subject. So this is something that is very practical. Your students might use the virtual instructor to find the answers to a question, but you don't want them to. Instead, what the AI is going to be doing is helping them out in understanding what the subject is. Now, next, you can apply this to all courses. If we, we click on this button, it will be applied on all courses. But if you want to select the course or courses in which you want to apply this virtual assistant, you can select it from this drop down. You can also apply it to all groups or select which group you want this instructor to be applied on. Okay, so once you select it, let's say uh, I want to apply it to all of the courses, then we're going to click on setup. And now the virtual instructor has been configured. Then we can click on the settings again. And here we can access the banned words and any matching words, the error message and other things. Okay. So once everything is done, uh, we're going to save changes here as well. Now we can go to the courses and see if the virtual instructor is working. Now here we are in the course, you can see there's a little tab over here. And since we haven't uploaded any image, uh, the image isn't appearing. But if you have a good image, you can upload here so that it will appear over here. 
If we open up this tab, we can converse with the virtual instructor and the virtual instructor will help us. That is how basically you can use AI on your LearnDash site. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial and we hope that you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.